Hey guys, so I'm going to take you along on my experimentation of making egg bites at home. So I am, you know, I have stuff all lined up here. I'm gonna do half of the muffin tin with um, these little cupcake muffin thingies and half just sprayed with uh, like a Pam alternative. I'm gonna do eggs, salami, and I don't know why, I am not an onion person at all. I don't think I had real onions and anything until I met my husband. Um, I'm just not, I just don't like the texture in some things of the onion, but I'm craving onions. I don't know why, but I went and I bought myself a sweet onion. And so I'm gonna peel this. So I'm gonna put onions, salami, egg, and cheese into these egg bites. So wish me luck, I'll be right back. Okay guys, so I got, I'm gonna make a recipe out of this so at the end of the video, I can give you guys a rundown of what's in here. And I hate peeling onions. Um, the fact that I don't like to eat them, um, definitely I'm sure has a lot to do with not wanting to peel them either. And I'm not really sure how many layers of onion I peel away and throw away, but we're gonna, find out together. Um, so I am going to put, um, I lined my muffin tin half with the muffin, um, I don't even know what the heck those things are called, muffin whatever, holders. We'll say they're muffin placeholders. And the other half just sprayed. Um, now I'm just um, dicing up my onion I'm gonna, I took seven eggs and beat up seven eggs. I'm gonna add the onion into the egg mixture. Actually, no, I'm, I'm gonna second guess that one. I think I'm supposed to put the stuff that I'm going to have inside the egg, I think I'm supposed to put all that in the muffin tin and then cover it in egg and bake it. The, the thing I found online was for, um, uh, it's 375, I'm sorry, 325 for 55 minutes. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna try that. Let, let's try that. So as I said, I'm going to put the salami. This is all like, this is like for kickers. You know, if it comes out good, it comes out good. If it doesn't, it doesn't. One, two, three, four, five. Let's see, a serving size is six pieces of salami. So I'm gonna just dice that up a little bit. And then we'll see. Obviously I'd like to get these onions away from me so I will not cry because I feel my eyes tearing up. So let me put this little onion in the bag and let me get rid of the onion peels down my garden disposal. I'm still here, I'm just on this side. And uh, let me see if that will help. Um, I think what I'm going to do is the same thing I do with my garlic, and that is to buy it from, uh, to buy it already um, diced and sliced and all that good stuff. Okay, so I am also going to add a little bit of garlic into the egg mixture um, because I love garlic, and I just feel like having an egg bite that has these other ingredients in as well as garlic. Let me also, oh, that was my oven telling me that it's ready. Let me also measure out some cheese. So if I do a half an ounce and there's 12, so I'll do six ounces of cheese. And uh, for all intensive, ooh, I forgot to zero that out. For all intensive purposes, that's how we're gonna work it. Because there's, I think a half an ounce of cheese is plenty. It might even be too much. Maybe a quarter of an ounce. Let me see what a quarter of an ounce looks like. Listen, at least after I do this, you guys will know what the real recipe is and how it comes out, right? Let's see, a quarter of an ounce would be, let's see, three, okay. Yeah, that, that looks okay. So let me do, I guess I'll just have to do one by one. Okay, so let me just start filling these on the bottom with some salami. I figured I would put 
two of these in each bottom of the egg cup. If there's more one side distribute it, then I'll go back and put more. But for now, that's how I'll do it. I'm excited to see how these came up, are going to come out because, honestly, I was on my way uh, by Starbucks on my way home and um, I wanted to stop and get egg bites. And so um, instead I figured, um, I saw um, Jess from Watch Kitty Shrink and I saw her um, have them. And so I um, figured that I would make them too. She has a really cool doohickey type thing that she does in the um, microwave. And I would love to get that. I looked on Amazon. They look like they only have ones that would be into, um, into um, what you call it? The, um, uh, what the heck is that thing? Um, not air fryer, but the other thing. Um, ah, not air fryer. It's the, uh, you guys know you're yelling it at the screen. I know you are. You're yelling it right now at me. Um, the thing that everybody has, not the air fryer, but the other thing that everybody goes crazy, um, over, which I'll, I'll share a funny story with you. I wanted the, the thing that I can't think of for Christmas. But when I told my mom, um, when I told my mom about it, uh, she, I told her the wrong thing. So she bought me an air fryer, but I actually wanted the other thing, which is... I have no idea because I can't think of it. But you guys know what I'm talking about. So that's the thing I want. Um, and so anyways, these things come out great in that. Um, Instapot. That's it. That's it. I got it. Ten points for me. Instapot. Okay, so it's an Instapot. So, but by accident, I told my mom that I wanted an air fryer. So she bought me an air fryer. It's still in the box because... It looks more complicated than I can do on my own. And so my hubby is coming home in a few days and he will venture and do the Instapot, I mean the um, air fryer thing with me, which I'm excited about because now that I have cut the carb, um, I think it'll be great in there. Okay, so that's what I'm doing is I'm doing a quarter or 0 0.03 in each of these of cheese. So I'll have to add that up at the end. I definitely don't normally math on this channel, so I'm sure you guys are excited that I'm mathing. Um, but yeah, I mean, I think these are gonna come out good. I have a, I have a funny feeling that it's easier than I thought, um, but you know, we'll see. Only time will tell, right? So they're looking good. I have three more to fill. Um, and I just threw a bunch of onion in each one. I didn't even measure the onion. Um, I just put it in. And it's a lot. My husband would definitely be proud of me for eating that much onion. Um, so hopefully these come out good because I would love to eat these um, for breakfast or for when I need something more convenient. So I am... Measuring my cheese over here. So yeah, so I wanted to take you guys with me on this little adventure to try to figure it out. I know uh, um, Erica from Time to Shrink kind of has um, inspired me to venture out into all this different egg stuff because she does this egg loaf and I have yet to try it because I'm course afraid because um you know not everybody's good at doing this baking type stuff but it sounds funny coming from me especially since I own my own company I think I should know my way around the kitchen in the oven right right anyway so um so this is what it looks like these are all filled half are with those cups and half are just plain and now here's my egg mixture and I'm just going to fill them up. I don't know about how much, maybe halfway. Just to see, I don't really like it to look like it's a, um, 
muffin. Like, I don't really like it coming up. I like it flat topped like Starbucks has it. But, you know, hey, I get what I get and I don't get upset, right? One of my kids' teachers told him that last year. Okay, so I am short an egg. So let me grab another egg. So the tally now is eight eggs. I figured I would do this and while it's baking, I can go through my house and clean because my daughter, my 10 year old has a dentist appointment. So I have to get her in about two hours from school so she can go to the dentist. Um, and then I think her and I may have a little impromptu date. And uh, we'll see. Yeah, we'll see how that goes. Ugh. Yucky, 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 yuckies. So, yeah, they're not all even. They're not all exactly the same. I guess I wish I would have made them all exactly the same. But, hey, whatever. Whatever, whatever, whatever. So, yeah, we'll have to see how this comes out. And, uh, I don't know. I don't know how long it's going to take. I'm going to definitely be watching it, though, because I don't think it's going to... Um, I'm going to have to do one more egg, though. I can already tell that one that has nothing in it is going to need a little egg. And, okay, so that's nine eggs, right? Nine, so five and four is nine. Yep, nine eggs. All right, so let me whip up my little eggy here. said to fill a tray with water underneath so I'm gonna do that I don't know how good this is gonna be I don't really have that thick of a tray but hey it is what it is right whatever I don't even know what that does maybe it adds some kind of moisture to it or something so 325 the oven is ready so let me put this in All right, so I will see you in about 55 minutes. Hey guys, let's have a look-see at what these look like. So they look like they're coming together. Um, yeah, I just stuck a knife into this one on the side to see if it sprang back or not. So I do think they're coming along. They smell great. I smell the onion. Uh, I smell the egg. So I think it probably just needs maybe another 10 minutes. Okay, guys, so I am back. I just pulled the egg bites out of the oven. They look great. It, they seem like it's what I expected them to be. Here's what they look like. I took one out so I could cool it. Um, so that way I could see whether or not I liked it. So here's what it looks like. And I'm cutting down the middle. Granted, it's only a butter knife, so. Um, but I'm going to try it. Mmm. Okay. Mmm. Wow, it's good. It actually tastes just like Starbucks. Mmm. Wow. Mmm. Wow, I think I actually cooked it perfect. Hmm. All right, well, I'm going to put the stats um, in the next picture at the end of the video. They're only 100, I think it's 113 calories, 7.4 grams of fat, and something else. But I will put it at the end of this video. Thank you so much for cooking with me. Mmm. Mm-mm. I say a nice big onion. Mm. Yeah, the cheese makes the whole thing. Mm. So good. Mm-mm. I really do like the texture. That's what I like the most about Starbucks 
egg bites was the texture. I really liked it. It was small. Um, on the healthy side, uh, it wasn't bad at all. Um, so I'm glad I made 12 of them. Thanks, Jess, for the suggestion this morning. Have a good day, everybody.